Hi Randoms, today I want to put this The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution to the test on my oily, acne prone skin for an entire week. And now I'm especially excited for this one because I've heard so many good things about this toner that hopefully it will reduce my acne, I'm hoping. But anyways, this toner is glycolic acid based, so it is an AHA, a chemical exfoliator, meaning it is going to resurface your skin, so eliminating any dead skin, brightening up your complexion overall, as well as reducing fine lines, wrinkles, eliminating blackheads, whiteheads, acne, reducing redness, and also the fact that this is in a 7% solution, which is quite high compared to other glycolic acid toners in the market, like for example, compared to the Pixi Glow Tonic, that is in a 5% solution. This is 7 So it's quite higher. But still, you guys, a toner is not going to be as effective and strong as a leave-on serum would be. So, you know, we have to see if there are going to be any benefits. But you guys, don't worry. I will keep this test as fair as possible, meaning I will keep all other variables constant. Shout out to my biology teacher for teaching me that. But so I will keep my skincare routine the same, using the same skincare products that I always use, as well as eating the same diet, working out the same amount, as well as wearing makeup every day like I always do. So that hopefully, if there are any benefits, if we see any results on my skin, we know that is only thanks to this. So you guys, this is what my skin looks like on day one. As you can see, I have a bit of acne right here on the cheeks these two pimples i feel like they're about to like pop also i have a few pimples on the mouth this one has been here for ages pimples right here on the other cheek as well i do have a bit of blackheads i don't know if you can tell on the camera because it's not the best quality i don't have many on the foreheads at all so i'm happy about that but this right here the cheeks and the nose is my struggle area so hopefully this glycolic acid will solve all my problems but anyways i would use cotton rounds as you can see but I don't use them because first we're in 2020 so we have to be conscious about the environment and second they just soak up all the product and basically leave you with nothing on it to put on your skin so what I do with this I just open it like this and then I just go straight ahead does it sting? okay so it doesn't sting on my forehead but I don't have any pimples I just want to see right here if it does sting my skin where I have the Okay, there is definitely a slight sting. I can feel it, but nothing too strong, nothing unbearable. It is also very like a chemically smell. Oh, okay, okay. The more I leave it on, the more it's stinging. Woo! But as you can see, I'm not putting a lot, but it's so much more effective than using a cotton round. So yeah, this is just day one, and I'll be using this both in the morning and in the night every day for my morning skin routine and my nighttime routine, so I'll see you at night. Hi guys, so this is night of day two. Now, I just want to show you some pimples have popped up, like one here on the chin, one here close to my mouth, one here on the cheeks, and then one here on the nose. So this is a little update. Now, I think that I have seen an improvement in terms of um, surface dryness, as in I do have some little surface dryness because of the treatments that I use, like for example, retinol and also vitamin C, which are all very irritating to the skin and they are supposed to dry out your skin, especially the retinol. And so with this, I feel like it has helped removing a little bit of that dry dead skin. But since I'm talking about dry patches, I do wanna say if you have dry skin, a dry patch or flaky skin, this is gonna sting like a mother on that. Like if you have an open wound, if you have a pimple that has just popped, it will sting. Just keep that in mind. But yeah, anyways, this was day two. Hi guys, so we are on day four. I didn't vlog yesterday because this video would have become too long and too monotonous, so here we are. I'm about to put on my toner as usual as my nighttime routine, but I want to show you how my skin looks because I feel like day four is about at the middle of this experiment, so we should be seeing the results or at least knowing if this does anything to my skin or not. And I don't want to say anything quite yet but I feel like I have reduced my acne as you can see on this cheekbone especially like the pimples and the red spots are a lot less noticeable I feel like it's getting better like even on this cheekbone look oh oh god it burns definitely do pay attention as I already said before it's burning right here on this pimple which it's not even popped or anything like I popped it this morning I think and it hurts and it's night now so also you guys I don't know if you can see but I think that my skin is also a bit glowing than when I started this video. But yeah, you guys, anyways, definitely stay tuned because we're about to see the final results. Okay, guys, so it is day six. Yes, I did 
did get a haircut, but anyways, quick update on my skin. I feel like it is definitely getting better and better by the day. Like, if you just compare it to day four, I feel like my acne has been reduced here on the cheeks. And then this pimple is coming once again, honestly. <laughs> I'm never gonna get rid of this pimple. And I have to say, before starting to use this toner, I definitely had a lot of texture right here. Just like little small bumps. Can you see? They're all gone. Like, it's it's smooth now. I did shave this morning, and once again, I do want to confirm it burns right now. Like, now that I'm putting it on, it's burning. So, definitely do pay attention if you are a guy and you do shave, or girls if you shave your face, too. Because I know girls that shave their entire face. I shave my entire face, too, because I don't like no peach fuzz. But anyways, yeah, this is day six. Guys, we're about to end this experiment. I'm actually excited. Keep watching. Okay, you guys, so this is day seven, the last day of this experiment. I'm gonna show you one last time what my skin looks like. It definitely hasn't changed much from day six. But anyways, I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna go to the studio and tell you my final thoughts because I definitely have some thoughts. Okay, you guys, so I am back in the studio, which is literally just my bedroom. I just turned on the lighting and here I am. What a professional YouTuber. <laughs> but anyways, I am here to tell you my final thoughts. Now I am going to be straight up honest with you guys and just tell you this has not cured my acne. I was expecting so many good things from this toner because of the reviews that I've seen online. Like literally so many people were saying that it cured all their acne. All their acne was gone after just using this for one week. And I have to say it hasn't done it for me. Like I'm not saying it didn't do anything for my skin. I'm not saying that. Chill. Calm down. I mean it definitely did improve my skin if you just compare it to the beginning of the video. But it's not that big of a difference. But anyways, there are still some things that I really like about this toner. First off, what I love about this is that it contains Tasmanian pepperberry juice. And if you didn't know, also, the Ordinary Lactic Acid, which is another AHA in a serum form, however, also contains Tasmanian pepperberry juice. And I've actually made a review about it, so card it up here if you haven't watched that. And that is actually going to be effective at removing your acne and also resurfacing your skin, brightening it up. Anyways, this color is due to that. Now, if you didn't know, Tasmanian pepperberry juice is supposed to calm down any redness, any inflammation that you might have on your skin. So for example, the red marks from your pimples or also if you have rosacea, this is supposed to help. What I also like about this is that I've definitely seen an improvement in terms of the brightness of my skin. Also, a lot of texture has been reduced. Like I used to have little bumps on your skin. You acne prone people that you're going through it, you know what I mean. The just little spots here right close to my jawline that they weren't quite pimple. They were just underneath my skin. Those are all gone and it's definitely thanks to this. Another thing that I really like is that it's fragrance free. I mean it definitely does have a smell and it's not pleasant at all but it's fragrance free which actually a lot of other toners similar to this one like I compared it to the Pixi Glow Tonic before that one has so much fragrance in it. I mean it's a nice smell but if you didn't know fragrance is actually bad for your skin because it just irritates your skin without leaving you with any other benefit apart from just smelling nice and if you want to smell nice then just put perfume on. This is my opinion but so it's Especially with an AHA toner, I really do not see the point of putting a fragrance in it because AHAs are going to irritate your skin just a little bit and so adding fragrance and making this toner even more irritating than it's supposed to be really no point in it. Another thing that I do want to disclaim and I do want to tell you that I didn't quite like is that it stings quite a fair bit as you may have seen from the clip. If you have an open wound like if you just have popped your pimples it happens to the best of us okay do not judge us we all pop pimples the darkness of our bathrooms okay we're there squeezing them even though we all know it we're not supposed to okay it's just addicting. So when I popped my pimples and then I put on this one it hurt so bad it was basically like God punishing me for having popped a pimple. I'm sorry God. Okay. Also after you shave for all my boys watching and also ladies because there are a lot of ladies who shave their face to remove all the peach fuzz. I do that too. If you're shaving your face do not use this after that because it is gonna sting so much. Also, if you have a dry patch, dry skin, irritated skin, like a little red irritation thingy spot, it's gonna hurt on that one too. So for really dry skin, flaky people, this might not be the toner for you guys. Also, another thing that I really like is that it is 240 mLs for nine pounds. This is the amount that I used. So if you just count it, this is one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. A few 
moments later. It's basically gonna last you more than a month and a half. And to put it in the prospect of things, you guys, the Pixi Glow Tonic, the one with fragrance, and it's only 5% glycolic acid, whereas this one is 7% glycolic acid, that one, that is 23 pounds. You guys, this is only 9 pounds for this chunky ass bottle. The Ordinary, don't be playing with me, okay? What are you doing at your headquarters? You need to tell everybody else, especially Pixie, because they're doing something wrong. You're doing something right, babe. Uh, one last thing that I do want to mention. I, it was totally just crossing out of my mind, but thank God I remembered. Girl, did you really think I was about to let you off the hook and go do mind your business without telling you to wear SPF? Girl, please. If you don't know, I am obsessed with SPF. I am the SPF guardian of the galaxy. I'm sorry for that reference. It's just I watched the Guardians of the Galaxy last night, so it's just stuck in my mind. But you guys, really should be wearing SPF every day, even if you're not doing anything to your skin, because 90% of premature wrinkles and just wrinkles in the long term are caused from sun damage. I'm just gonna say that. But especially if you are doing treatments with your skin, like a chemical exfoliator, which is gonna make your skin a lot more photosensitive to the sun, Sun because you're just removing the top layer of your skin so of course the fresh newer skin is a lot more delicate and just new baby born ah! and we all know babies are just like super delicate so especially if you are using this you do want to use sunscreen I am gonna come knocking at your door if I see you stepping out of that house with no sunscreen because all my subscribers and just all the people watching you're basically obligated to wear sunscreen because I ain't out here preaching for no damn reason if you just go outside and get sunburns and also wrinkles so don't you dare but anyways you guys these were my overall thoughts and opinions on the ordinary's glycolic acid 7% solution which if you haven't noticed by now I definitely prefer over the pixie glow tonic and I definitely will be keeping this in my skincare routine. I have definitely enjoyed this, so I will keep using this even after this experiment is over. Thank you so much for watching, and for all my random subscribers, you know what time of the video it is. It is time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this glycolic acid containing Tasmanian pepperberry juice, if I'm not mistaken, Tasmania is quite close to Australia. And if you don't know, Australia right now is being plagued by like the biggest fire that they've seen in like 40 years or something. It just makes me really angry and mad that just the world is doing nothing. Like, I, what can I do? What can the people do like us? Nothing. But like the politicians and just the governors of the country countries all over the world they could send you know their firemen or do something and no one is doing anything so I'm just really kind of mad because also Australia is full of hot men and just it's a really nice country overall so I've never been but I just, it just seems awesome but so you guys this really blabbery long kind of linking is just to say the Italian word of the video is going to be fuoco which is fire in English anyways randoms hope you enjoyed this video if you did as always please give it a thumbs up as it does help me a lot also I didn't tell you verbally in my video yet which is quite weird for me because I usually always just like remember on the spot to tell you to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so that you don't miss any uploads and also if you are really into skincare if you love your skin if you just love to look pretty the best that you can ever look then I would definitely consider subscribing but girl if you thought they were just about to exit that video because I see you over there getting ready to just get up of your chair and walk away Girl, you thought wrong because I have other content for you to watch Why do you think I'm here standing in front of a camera with lights on to do like I'm not here just to doing it for fun I mean I am doing it for fun, but also I do it for you guys and just watch these other two videos They're gonna be super fun super pretty and they're also gonna be super helpful and oh remember to be random always be random